Federal Communications Commission today approved unprecedented new rules to protect your online privacy. It is a win for consumers, but a blow to broadband providers. Hampton Pearson has more on these sweeping new regulations. This is your agenda for today. The Federal Communications Commissioners voted three to two to approve first-time privacy rules for broadband. From now on, Internet service providers like AT&T, Comcast, and Verizon must get consent from consumers before using sensitive data, like a customer's web browsing history or what apps are used for marketing and advertising. It is the consumer's information. It is not the information of the network the consumer hires to deliver that information. Republican Commission members oppose the new policy. They say it unfairly gives websites like Facebook, Twitter, and Google the ability to harvest more data than service providers. Nothing in these rules will stop edge providers from harvesting and monetizing your data. Whether it's the websites you watch, what you visit, or the YouTube videos you watch, or the emails you send, or the search terms you enter on any of your devices. The new FCC policy comes just days after AT&T and Time Warner announced an $85 billion proposed merger, with joining forces to compete for targeted ads as a selling point. Now they may have less access to consumer data. Anti-regulation groups say even more restrictions may be coming. This is just one first step towards pushing us to a, a more European style, uh, heavily restrictive approach to, to, to privacy. And that would be bad for the entire internet and for uh, innovation. No surprise, consumer advocates generally like the new plan because it's closer to longstanding Federal Trade Commission privacy policy, including rules aimed at preventing identity theft and the unauthorized sale of private data. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson in Washington.